good morning class 8 now we will study some other parts of java programs that is literals data types and operators hope you will enjoy it the third part of a java program is literal these are the fixed data values that do not change during program execution now whatever values we can use in our java program are like integer which takes any positive or negative number but without decimal point second floating point values or floating point literals it includes any decimal values with positive or negative sign third character literal it includes any single character which is enclosed within single quotes fourth boolean literals it takes only two values either true or false and the last one is string literal these includes more than one character enclosed within double quotes now the fourth part of a java program that is data type these data type are used to tell that which type of values will be used in our program java has provided us two types of data types first primitive data types which are also basic data types of java second non primitive data types which are made from these primitive data types now in the your class 8 you will concentrate mainly on primitive data types now class let's have a look on these primitive data types the table will show you the name of the data type along with the size which they occupy in memory the table will also show you the default values which are stored in these data types when no other value is given to them now let's start with primitive data types first is byte which occupy one byte in memory then short which occupy two bytes in memory int which occupy four bytes in memory then we have long which occupy 8 bytes in memory these byte short int and long data types are used for storing integer number then we have float data type which is used for storing decimal numbers generally small decimal numbers it occupy 4 bytes in memory then we have double which is also used for storing decimal numbers but large decimal numbers it occupy 8 bytes in memory then we have char data type which occupy 2 bytes in memory and at the last we have boolean data type which occupy 1 bit in memory and its default value is false now the table is showing you the default values byte short int and long their default value is 0 float is having default value 0.0f double is having a default value 0.0d and char default value of char is shown as a special character then boolean is having a default value false these primitive data types are used with variable name like suppose i want to declare a variable a of integer type then i will use keyword int which shows that int is a integer data type then followed by variable name now in the examples you can see that three variables are declared of different data type int a double b char c where int double and char are data type and 
A, B and C are variable names. Now the question arises that what are variables? Variable is a container which holds a value at the time of program execution. That means it contains some value within it. Now they are also known as named memory location where any particular value is stored. The value of any variable can be changed during program execution. Let's see how we can declare a variable. A variable is declared as data type, then some space followed by variable name. For example, int where int is a data type, then you have to give some space, then you have to give a variable name. Now remember that variable name should follow the same rules as the rules for naming identifiers. Like this, you can declare any type of variables like char c or double d, etc. Once a variable is declared, it is our duty to provide some initial value to a variable. So, initialization means to provide some value to a variable. Value can be given as data type, space, variable name, assignment operator and then the value. For example, int a, assignment operator 3, where the value 3 is stored in variable a of int type. Now, the fifth part of a Java program is operator. Operators are the symbol used to perform some operations on the values. Different types of operators provided by Java are 1. Arithmetic operators 2. Relational operators 3. Logical operators and 4. Assignment operator now let's study about arithmetic operator. These operators are used to perform basic arithmetic operations on the given values. Arithmetic operations includes addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Now in the table you can see the symbol of the operator and its use. Plus it is a symbol which is used for addition. Minus, it is a symbol which is used for subtraction. Asterisk sign, it is a symbol which is used for finding the product means to multiply two numbers. Then, forward slash, it is used for finding quotient. When we divide two numbers, then we get quotient and remainder. So, forward slash is used for finding quotient. Then we have percent sign which is used for finding the remainder. This percent sign is known as modulus operator. Then we have two special operators that is increment operator which is shown by two positive sign. It is used to increase the value of operator by 1. Then we have another special operator that is minus minus means decrement operator which is used to decrease the value of a variable by 1. Now let's study about relational operators. These operators are used to compare two values and gives result in true or false. Now comparison means that to check whether the first value is greater than second value or second value is less than first value or both are equal or both are unequal. So Java has provided us six types of relational operator. Double is equal to. This symbol is used for checking equality between two operators. Then we have not is equal to which is used for checking whether one value is not equal to second value. Then we have greater than symbol, then less than symbol 
and greater than is equal to symbol and less than is equal to symbol again remember that these relational operators re gives result in true or false now we will study about logical operators these operators also returns answer in true or false these operators are used to check given conditions java has provided us three types of logical operators they are logical and which gives answer true when all given conditions are true second logical or which gives answer true when any one condition out of the given conditions is true then third is logical not which reverses the answer of given condition then we have assignment operator it is used to assign the value to a variable the value will go from right side to left side it is shown by symbol single equals to for example int a equals to 6 which means that the value 6 is going to variable a now class i hope you must have understood all the parts of a java program very clearly now just go through the chapter once again and clear your doubts thank you